Today we're going to be learning how to multiply and divide fractions and mixed numbers. This is really our second video in multi learning how to multiply and divide fractions. If you haven't seen our first video, you might want to go back and review that prior to going on in, to this video because it's a little bit different. We're going to start out first by completing a problem. We're going to call this example number one. In this problem, we're looking at a mixed number of 1 and 1 4 times a whole number of 24. The first step we need to do here is we need to change our mixed number, which is 1 and 1 4. If you want to change this, to an improper fraction. So we know that 1 and 1 fourth, we can change this to an improper fraction by saying 4 times 1, which is 4, plus 1 that's on the numerator. So we have 5 fourths. So that now we can reinsert this 5 fourths back into a problem and say 5 over 4 times, in just a minute, we're going to go to our second step. We'll mark this as first step. In our second step, we have to take and write our whole number. So we want to write our whole number. as a fraction. Alright, so we can do that by saying 24 is equal to 24 over 1. Because remember, all whole numbers can be written as a fraction with a denominator of 1. Well, then we can reinsert this fraction into our problem. So we have 5 fourths times 24 over 1. Now our third step in completing this type of a problem is you want to multiply multiply your numerator or the numerator the numerators and then multiply the denominators. So we can now take and rewrite our problem up here. We can say 5 times 24 over 4 times 1. We can go to our scratch paper, which we're just going to put it down here in the corner. We can say 24 times 5. 5 times 4 is 20. Carry our 2. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. So that 5 times 24 is equal to 120. And 4 times 1 is equal to 4. Okay, and the last step our fourth step and final step would be to simplify. If necessary. Okay, so we know that this is an improper fraction, so it indeed can be simplified. And all you have to do is divide 4 into 120. We know that 4 will go into 12 three times, and 4 will go into 0, 0, so that 120 over 4 is equal to 30. Therefore, 1 and 1 fourth times 24 is equal to 30. Okay, let's go ahead and try another 
problem. We'll call this example number two. Okay, and in this example, we want to multiply 12 times 3 over 2. Now, you notice I've already got an improper fraction here, and that's okay. If it was a, a mixed number, we'd have to change it to an improper fraction. In this case, we don't have to. It's already done, but we do have to do something with this whole number. So we're going to come and rewrite this whole number as a fraction. Remember, any number over 1 is equal to itself. Times 3 over 2. Now we're just going to take and multiply our numerators and then we'll multiply our denominators. In this case, we'll say 12 times 3 over 1 times 2. We know that 12 times 3 is equal to 36, and we know that 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Now we have an improper fraction, so we have to simplify this, and we know that 36 divided by 2 is equal to 18. So that 12 times 3 over 2 would be equal to 18. Let's go ahead and do another example here. Example number three. And let's make this one just a little bit more difficult. In this one, we want to multiply one and one fourth times two. Now, as you can see, one and one fourth is a mixed number times a whole number of 2. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make this turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. We do that by multiplying the denominator times our whole number and then adding it to our numerator. So we'll say 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 and our denominator stays the same. Then we have to change our whole number into a fractional form so we know that we can put 2 over 1 because any number over 1 will be equal to itself. And then all we have to do is multiply out our numerators and then our denominators. So we'll rewrite this and we'll say 5 times 2 over 4 times 1. And we know that 5 times 2 is equal to 10 over 4 times 1 would be equal to 4. Now, we have an improper fraction here, so we must simplify this. We know that 4 will go into 10 two times with 2 left over 4. Now, even though we have simplified our original fraction, we still can simplify this even further by saying this numerator can be divided by 2, and so can this denominator. Remember to bring your whole number over. Do not forget it. And then we can do our fraction. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So that 1 and 1 fourth times 2 is equal to 2 and 1 half. Okay, let's go ahead and try one last example. We'll call this example number 4. And in this example, we're going to take two and a half, and we're going to multiply that times two thirds, or two over three. Once again, we must go back. We've got a mixed number here that includes a whole number and a fraction. So we have to change this to an, to an improper fraction. We do that by taking our denominator, multiplying that times our whole number, and then adding in our numerator. So 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Denominator stays the same times 2 thirds. Then we just multiply our numerators and then our denominators. So we'll rewrite this and say 5 times 2 over 2 times 3. 
So now we're just going to do our arithmetic. 5 times 2 is 10 over 2 times 3 is 6. Now what we have here is an improper fraction. So now we have to simplify. We know that 6 will go into 10 one time with 4 left over. So you put 4 as your numerator and bring your denominator straight across. But once again, you have to look at this numerator and denominator and determine if it can be reduced again. In this case, we can divide both the numerator by 2 and our denominator by 2. Always remember to bring any whole number over that you may have. You don't want to leave that out of your answer. So we'll bring our 1 over. And then we're just going to take 4, divide by 2, and we get 2. And 6 divided by 2, we get 3. Now that has been simplified as far as we can go. So we know that 2 and 1 half times 2 thirds is equal to 1 and 2 thirds. Okay, now we want to take and learn how to divide uh, our fractions and mixed numbers. Okay, so let's write out an example up here. We'll call it example number one. Example number one. And let's say that we have one and two thirds divided by one sixth or one over six. The first thing you want to do would be to convert all mixed numbers to improper fractions. All mixed numbers to improper fractions. All right, so as you can see, we have a mixed number right here, so we have to convert this to an improper fraction. So to do that, you take your denominator, multiply it times your whole number, and then add in any numerator you may have. In this case, we'll say 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. Your denominator does not change, so it stays the same. Divided by 1 over 6. Now... The second thing you want to do is to take your reciprocal of the second fraction, or your divisor. So we want to take the reciprocal of the second Spell second correctly, doesn't it? Fraction. Okay. So we need to take the reciprocal of this. You do that by inverting this fraction. So we'll rewrite 5 thirds. We'll say 5 over 3 times... Now, when you make your reciprocal, you can automatically change your problem to times, and we're going to say 6 over 1. So the third thing we would have to do in solving a problem such as this is you want to multiply your fractions. In this case, we would say 5 times 6 over 3 times 1. So that we'll say 5 times 6, we know is 30, over 3 times 1, which is 3. Now we have to, on our fourth step, fourth and final, we must simplify. if necessary. In this case, we know that this is an improper fraction, 30 over 3, so we can take and, and divide 3 into 30, and it will go 10 times so that we have a whole number. So 
1 and 2 thirds divided by 1 sixth is equal to 10. Okay, let's go on and, and do another example. In this case, we'll call it example 2. Example number 2. And here, we want to take 2 fifths and divide it by a whole number of 4. Okay, we don't have to do anything to this 2 fifths. It's already just fine the way it is. But we have to convert this whole number into a fraction, which in this case, it would be 4 over 1. Once we do that, we have to take the reciprocal of this number and multiply it times our original first fraction. So we'll go ahead and we'll write 2 fifths and we're going to multiply that, remember, times the reciprocal of 4 over 1, which is 1 over 4. Then we're just going to multiply our numerators and then our denominators. In this case, it would be 2 times 1 over 5 times 4. So we can do our arithmetic. We can say 2 times 1 is 2 over four times, uh, 5 times 4 rather, is equal to 20. Now, the last step we've got to do is to simplify this. And we can divide both our numerator and our denominator by 2, and we'll get a, a simplified answer. Two divided, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 20 divided by 2 is 10. So that 2 fifths divided by 4 is equal to 1 tenth. Okay, let's go ahead and try one last example here. And we'll call it example number three. In this case, we want to take and divide the whole number 10 by a mixed number of 1 and 1 fourth. So we know what has to be done first, we first thing we want to do is we want to convert this whole number into a fraction. So we'll say 10 over 1, because any number divided by 1 is equal to itself, divided by, now we have to convert this mixed number into an improper fraction, doing that by multiplying our denominator times our whole number and adding in our numerator. So 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and we bring our denominator over. Now we have to take and find the reciprocal of 5 fourths, then multiply it times our first fraction. So we're going to leave our 10 over 1, and we're going to multiply that times the reciprocal of 5 over 4, which is actually 4 over 5. Then we're going to multiply our numerators and then our denominator. So we'll rewrite, we will rewrite this to 10 times 4 over 1 times 5. We can do our arithmetic saying 10 times 4 is 40 over 1 times 5 is 5. Now we have to simplify this improper fraction and we know that we can divide 40 by 5 and that will be equal to 8. So that we know that 10 divided by 1 and 1 fourth is equal to 8.